What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Brewberg. My name is Corey, also known as that TCG guy, and we're back doing another deck tech video for you today, joined by none other than Bobby Christine, one of the best people in the EDH slash magic content community sphere, and very excited to have her here building a deck with us today. Super fun. Also, still trying not to use my filler words, so you're still processing as I speak, <laughs> working really hard. Because it's it's annoying. You don't want to you don't you don't you don't want to hear that. You know, it's man, it's gross. Anyway, today we built, or I guess when we did this, we built Samwise Gamgee from the new Lord of the Rings set. Very excited about this set. Lots of fun, interesting commanders and cards coming out of it. And I hope to be doing a lot more deck builds and 60 second deck techs, which you can find over on TikTok and YouTube Shorts. It's a lot of good cards from the set. Lots of interesting creatures. Again, today, Samwise Gamgee. Here he is. Boom. There you go. Cares about food. Cares about life gain. It's a really interesting, super solid Selesny deck. We're going to build it. Let's take a look right now. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Brewberg. Hanging out with none other than the Bobby Christine. Bobby Christine, how you doing? Yo. Yo. Doing Simple, well. to the point. That's all we need. <laughs> uh, we've been trying real hard to get this on the books, uh, and it finally worked out. So we had Bobby Christine here, and we were building a deck from the new Lord of the Rings set. So very excited about that. We will be talking about that in just a second. But before we do that, I know we've already done it like three times on stream, but this is for the YouTube video. Bye, Christine, would you like to introduce yourself to the fine folks watching? Let everyone know who you are, what you do in the Magic community, and uh, where they can find you. What is happening, everybody? My name is Bobby Christine. I am a Magic the Gathering content creator, writer, streamer, what have you. I love to go to events and represent great organizations such as Magic Kids. Uh, keep your eye out on Tolarian Community College videos. Also, we got those coming out, churning those out. We got we got a lot going on. It's great to see you. Thanks for having me. Good stuff. Thank you for being here. I'm very excited about this one. This has this deck has has piqued my interest, as the kids say. So I'm very excited to talk about it. So before we begin, I can't contain my excitement about this deck i'm great. so pumped i want it really bad <laughs> excellent excellent so who did we build what do we got here today we cooked up a selesnia life gain brew right underneath samwise gamgee himself not the precon sam not the mono white sam just samwise gamgee uh, a wonderful wonderful commander who uh is a two two for two and when another non-token enters the battlefield, we get food. And we can sack foods to get historic cards from the graveyard. Yep. And I love We're mostly the focusing on the food, though. The food, yeah. yeah. The, oh, my gosh. So, and also, so with this deck, um, we also wanted to, as we were building it, we wanted to kind of keep it in-universe. We didn't want it to stray too far from Middle-earth. So something like Mondrag isn't going to quite find its way into this deck. We want it to feel... Uh, all flavorful and like within universe, I suppose. Yeah, that doesn't mean we're not using cards outside of Lord of the Rings, but you know, we, we said it in the exactly. stream, like you're not gonna see anything from 40K here. Uh, if there's a printing that is from Lord of the Rings, we kind of, we, we teetered towards that printing. But yeah, it's all very much, you know, fantasy, typical magic fantasy yeah. cards. So there may be some cards that are really good from like March of the Machines or 40K, but we, we steered away from those for the flavor. This, is, this deck's about food. It's about flavor. As Guy Fieri I mean, no. would say, we're going to Flavor Town or Flavor <laughs> Country. I don't know. I don't watch many of his shows. Anyway, uh, so, <laughs> all right. So why did we choose this Samwise, say, over some of the other ones? Why Why did we go with the adorable Reads Books to Children Samwise? Reads Books to Children. Okay, so on a personal level, I didn't really want to build a life gain deck with black in it. I've had enough black life gain action in my life, in my deck building experience. We don't need the Veto. We don't need the Exquisite Blood. We don't need the Sanguine Bond. We don't need the Blood Artist. I just thought it would be nice to just shave off black entirely, even though the Cupcoming Food Precon does have black in it. Yep. Uh, I just, and I wanted to, to niche it a little bit and emphasize the importance of green was a big part of why I wanted to choose this Sam one. Cause I love my green player at heart. Yeah. I I was telling you, I don't do a ton of Selesnya decks, but this one is definitely like, it's, this is scratching a niche. I didn't realize I had, <laughs> which is super nice. cool, which is very cool. And it's, it's pretty split up between white and green as far as like the distribution of yeah. colors which is cool it's a good split so you're not going to see a ton of just white cards or green cards like it's a nice split which is cool so uh all right so we have the deck we have the commander how are we winning with samwise how is he how is he getting us to victory we are winning with samwise after a 
several turns after a, our setup turns of having Sam on the field and dropping one of our like 15 one cost creature spells just casting them every one cost is a food so we cast creatures we get food cast creatures get food cast creatures get food after building up with in this way we've got ways to gain a burst of life gain either by consuming our food using cards like Chaplain's Blessing or Feed the Clan to get huge bursts of life gain. And we win with cards like uh, uh, Blossoming Bog Beast, who is an overrun creature for the amount of life we gain. When Blossoming Bog Beast attacks, we get plus X plus X and all of our creatures get plus X plus X where it's the amount of life we gained. It also it gains two life when it attacks. So mm -hmm. at minimum, our whole board gets plus two plus two and a trample but on top of all the food we're eating and all this stuff we're eating ideally we can get our wide board of mana dorks and celestia creatures to have like plus 10 plus 10 and just swing in for the win if it's yep. not enough with the blossoming bog beast of course we have overpowered options like a chroma's will get it in there just to finish the job <laughs> i don't think i've ever seen an chroma's will cast that doesn't win a game <laughs> it's rare to see that card where someone's like, okay, I'm just going to kill everybody. I love a crow's Well, if it didn't have the life gain portion, I wouldn't have included it. But yep. because we're so life gain focused and we could defensively or offensively get a huge burst of life gain. Yep. I'm sold. Definitely. Because uh, then you also have things like the um, tree beard who cares about the amount of life you gain, making tree beard yes. huge and just yes. killing people that way. Uh, cool. Awesome. So with that being said, this is the part of the show where we ask you, Bobby Christine, if someone walked up to you on the street and they said, hey, I saw you built the Samwise deck one day. That's cool. If you had to show me five cards that would be the epitome of what this deck is, what would those five cards be? And why? Okay. Uh, I mentioned, I just mentioned the Blossoming Fog Beast, so let me pick another one in sort of that vein. One of the five cards would be Sprout Back Trudge. <laughs> which is a silly card that I love a lot. It's 14 cents, so you know it's really good. Uh, it's 9 mana for a 9-7 trample. But it also, of course, costs X less to cast for X is amount of life you gain. So if we gain 7 life, completely feasible in this deck, we can pay green, green for a 9-7 trample, which is what I'm here. I'm, I'm here for it. Yep. On the end steps, we can also bring it back. We can cast it if we gain life as well from the grave with its discount still in place. So we're paying four or less mana for this card from our hand or from the grave every single time. Yep. It's a nine seven trampler every single time. Uh, that big power helps us with our return to the wild speaker card draw and all kinds of things. So love this property tracks. That's card number one. Uh, the second card to represent the deck, I think, would be this wonderful, wonderful new saga called Of Herbs and Stewed Rabbit. <laughs> yep. Which, <laughs> it's so wonderful. Both the top, the, both the first chapters make us food. Put a counter on something, make a food. Draw a card, make a food. Those are chapter one and two. The next chapter, make a halfling for each food we control. So we're really, really rewarded for just pumping all the food out. So rewarded for life gain, rewarded for making food. That's what makes that the second. And also this card really represents the flavor of mm. the deck that we're trying to get Definitely. across. Like of Earths and Stewed Rabbits, like, you know, that's so wholesome and warm. <laughs> yep. 100%. Uh, the number three card would be Light of Promise. I think this is the, the sleeper card. Um, Light of Promise is an enchantment and enchant is a creature. This is the cheapest mana version of being able to get this effect that there actually is in the game uh, wild enough. Like, Treebeard has this effect, but he costs four. Uh, so we can enchant a creature with Light of Promise, and every time we gain life, we get that many counters. So each food we eat, three whole counters. Yep. Each Chaplain's Blessing, a burst of five life, that's five counters. So we just make one thing extremely large, and we win the game with, yep. essentially, it, I consider it a win con if we're, you know, wise and... and clever enough with it definitely the number four card i would say is farmer cotton a brand also a brand new card uh from lord of the rings farmer cotton is a legendary halfling peasant one one he costs celestia an x and he enters with x halflings and x foods it's so delightfully straight to the point <laughs> it gives us creatures for our overrun effects and it gives us food for our life gain it's literally just like here's what you want yep. for the deck in a package we could alternate swap i feel like yeah 
Farmer Cotton and Samwise easily. They could just swap Definitely. places. Definitely. And I like that. That's kind of nice too. It's like our backup commander. It's like and redundancy. Last... It's like what? It's like redundancy. Yes, 100%. And um, the last card, I'm going to be obvious. It maybe it might be obvious to some. I'm going to, I'm a shamelessly just love this card. Archangel of Thune. Yeah. I could I consider it a win con. Yep. Flying lifelink, one of the best angels ever printed. When you gain life, put a counter on each creature you control. Each time we eat a food, anthem yep. counters everything. Eat another food, anthems everything. Every life gain, one of our creatures has life gain. Boop. Life gain is just boop, it just feels like bountiful, just like Yep. It's just this big bounty of life gain and counters and victory and the ultimate reward for Yep. What it's, we're doing. It's like a build your own overrun. Yeah. <laughs> it's the IKEA overrun, folks. You heard it here first. Yeah. That's cool. 100 percent Awesome. This like I said, I said this a few times already. This deck looks super fun. It looks super interesting. I'm a, I'm a big fan of the flavor that we had. Literally like again, literally the flavor of the deck and also that the deck is all about flavor, which is really cool. <laughs> exactly. I, I'm gonna I'm, sneak in a sixth one. Black yeah. a worm. <laughs> Black a worm. Yep. <laughs> I got it. I'm never cutting the Palaka Worm. We're going to cast that worm. We're going to gain that life. And thematically and flavorfully, I feel like the town would take down this big horrible worm yep. and just start carving that thing and up and just serving it up. Yep. Exactly. I 100% I agree with that. Very cool. All right. Bobby, Christine, that's all the time we have here. Thank you so much for being a part of this. I'm very, very excited uh, and very... Um, I don't know what the word is. I'm, I'm, I'm just super pumped that you were able to come here and hang out and do this with us today. So thank you so much for being a part of this. I really, really appreciate it. I'm super grateful, Corey. I had a lot of fun deck building. Thanks awesome. For me on. <laughs> any, any last words you want to say about the deck before we head out or, or we covered everything we need to cover? We covered it wonderfully. There's a unicorn perfect. in there, so you know it's good. There it's, is a unicorn. We got it. This That's, deck is perfect. There's a unicorn and there's Yoshimaru. Those are the two staples oh, of knowing that there's... We got Yoshimaru in there. Yeah. That, of knowing that this is a solid <laughs> deck. You know? Unicorns right. and Yoshi. That's all you need. I'm not right. talking about Mario Yoshi. I'm talking about... You know what I'm talking about. Anyway. <laughs> bye, Christine, again. Thank you so much for being here. One last time before we head out, please let the people know who you are and what you do in the Magic community. My name is Bobby Christine. I'm a commander, content creator, streamer, writer, and convention visitor extraordinaire. Thank you for having me, Corey. I had so much fun. You guys can find me on Twitch and Twitter at Bobby Christine. Perfect. And uh, yeah, all I'll right. see you around. I will be sure to put all Bobby Christine's links in the description below. Also, if you want to check out the deck list in the form that it is in now, I will put the Moxfield deck list down in the description. It may be updated when you see this, depending on when you're watching this. Some changes may have been made. Who knows? We'll see. But uh, you can check all that stuff out in the description. And then that's it. I'm going to pass it over to myself again to do the outro. Thank you all so much for watching. Bobby Christine, you're amazing. Thank you so much. Over to me for stuff. Do more magics. There you go. Corey? <gasps> oh, wait. I'm looking this, this, this way. There you go. <laughs> all right, folks. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. A big thanks to Bobby Christine again for being a part of this. Again, super excited to have her here. We've been working on getting her in here for a while now. Finally got it in the books. Super Super grateful that she was able to come over and build a deck with us. And again, a super interesting, super uh, unique and fun deck. And I can't wait to see it played out or can't wait to have it played against me. Should be really fun. Again, thank you all so much for watching these. If you weren't already subscribed, please make sure you consider hitting that subscribe button. It really does mean a whole lot to me. Also, if you enjoyed the content, just click the little like button. It, it's engagement. It's all, all we need here. Just a little bit of affirmation that you enjoy what you're seeing. So please go ahead and consider subscribing. Hitting that like button really means a lot. Also, again... Pinfinity, we have a uh, we have a affiliate program with them. Use uh, this link down in the <laughs> you can use the link down in the description. Get 20% off your entire order there. And also, we do have the Patreon here. Completely unnecessary to subscribe, but if you wouldn't mind taking a look at it, again the link is going to be in the description. Dollar tier gets you a thank you in every single one of these videos, which as always you will see coming up after this. And then the five dollar tier, whenever we do something interesting or cool, like create these new stickers, things like that, uh, any gizmos and gadgets. Sometimes we do sleeves. We'll give out free sleeves to the five dollar tier patrons. Those all get sent out to you guys before anybody else gets their hands on them. So and, and it just really means a lot. To me to have you guys there and a part of that so thank you so much for those and i appreciate the hell out of you again hit subscribe hit the like button y'all are amazing i appreciate the crap out of you thank you so much we'll see you in the next one peace